You know, there's no point of me coming before you here to speak or to tell you stories. The problem of Marstabet is actually the problem of the politics of that uh, county. For a long time, the politics in that county has played on the fault line the division between the Morana and the Gabra. The things I have heard and collected from people in that county are not spoken anywhere in this country. There is no part of Kenya, I can tell you that without fear of contradiction, there is no part of this country where one group of people speaks about their neighbors the way it happens in society. It actually reminds you of the situation of Rwanda, the attitude that you hear between communities. It is totally senseless. And as you say, none of those people is innocent. Because everybody comes and tells you that group has got militia, this group has got militia. They all do, they all have militia. There is only one option left for Marsabit. And Bishop, the last meeting we had, which was chaired by His Excellency the President himself, Ask the elders in the room, do you want me to give you time or do you want us to move in? They say give us 30 days. Let me tell you, Bishop, I went to Mount Elba and, and went through an experience I, I would not like to go through again. You know, when you sit down before 190, an old woman telling you graphically how they have been raped and what they have gone through and so on. There is no public officer, unless you don't have a, a human heart, who would like to go through that experience. And I told those people, Montelgo, we were raped on there the whole day. I said, I'm going to sit here, be raped on as much as possible, we'll be here. But I can swear to you, you will not do this again in this country. Please, when we act as we will on Marsabe, Nobody should blame the government. We have done everything we could to bring about sanity in that part of our country. There is nothing, let me tell you, there is nothing our president has not done. I sat in that room, we were there, my colleagues are here. But the president literally bleeding with them, telling them, what do you want to do with your people? Who are you going to leave if you murder everyone in the process? And, and, and that county, has presented to us an unprecedented challenge occasioned by the, I dare say, fairly primitive uh, politics and the way of engaging one with another. So, for me, it's upon the leaders, the political leaders, not the religious leaders. It is upon the political leaders of Manzabit to make their choices. Honestly speaking, I did not think for the patience of the president, my colleagues, the heads of the agencies, we were not willing to have another meeting. We were ready to proceed and do what we must to bring sanity to those places. Because every day they are murdering their people, and all of it is just politics. It's nothing else. You say that, Cabra, Porana, Cabra, Porana, that is it. And then, and then we ask them the question, everybody asks, why can't you sit down and talk to each other? What is this? In other words, we will not give notice to do what we are going to do. They actually, they accept that they are Twitter. We, we are paid, but well, what we have seen and what we have described is true, the, what is going on. But we will not continue sitting and telling stories. We will act and we are going to do that.